Hello Year 3, it's Mr Kavanagh and I hope you're ready for your PE lesson today. Before we get started, I would like you to find space in your house, in your garden, wherever you're participating for your lesson. I want you to make sure it's nice and safe. So we need to make sure everything is clear so we don't trip over. So what I want you to do is pause the video and make sure your area is safe to go. Off you go. Now you are back and your area is clear, we need to start with a warm up. So what do you think we could do? Yes, that's maybe correct. We could maybe go for a little mini jog or we can do it on the spot. So jog it, off you go. Let's see you moving up and down, up and down. Excellent work. Now we can maybe move around our area side to side. So as you can see, we can move around in our little area sideways. Off we go. Brilliant work. Can we start our heel flick? So we've got to try and nearly kick our bottoms. So we're kicking our bottoms. And then we can change it straight into some high knees. I want to see you driving your arms up and your knees trying to touch your chest. Well done. Can we, uh, go, can we work on our balancing? So can we start single leg hopping? So one leg up in the air, hopping around. You might be able to go in different directions. Excellent work year three. Now today's lesson is going to be around catching and we're going to set some little mini challenges. So after each challenge or piece of work that we are practicing, I would like to stop the video, pause it, have a go and then come back to the lesson. So to start with, what I need you to do is to go and find some equipment for me. So you may need to find a teddy, or a pair of socks, or a tennis ball, or if we're really struggling, we could find a piece of paper, screw it up so it looks like a little ball. So your job now is to find all these in your house and then come back to the video. Off you go. Well done. So to start with, to get, to get our eyes and our hands all working, our hand-eye coordination, I want to see Miss Cameron's teddy in two hands in our basket. And we're going to start with just throwing it up with two hands, catching with two hands and bringing it to our chest. Up, catch, bring to our chest. It's really important that we watch the piece of equipment with our eyes. So pause the video now and have a go. Maybe do it for two, three minutes or try and get 10 consecutive catches. Off we go. Excellent work, well done. Remember, practice, 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 and you will always improve. It doesn't matter if we drop it, we've just got to give it our best shot. So this time, only hold your piece of equipment. So I've got my tennis ball this time. You use your teddy, your piece of paper, whatever you would like. And we're going to try and throw it up with one hand and we're going to catch with two and bring to our chest. Up with one hand, catch with two. Off you go. So pause the video and have another practice. Ooh, Mr. Kavanagh's smelly socks are out. Mr. Kavanagh's smelly socks. So this time we're going to go with one hand, up and we're going to catch with the other hand. Bring to our chest, up, Catch, bring to our chest. Up, catch, bring to our chest. So we're swapping over now. Off you go, pause the video please. Excellent work. Now, this time I've got a piece of paper. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to choose to throw it up, up in the air, and I want to see a clap in between and then a catch. So this is a little tricky challenge. So I'm going to throw it up, catch, bring to our chest. Up, catch, bring to our chest. So pause the video and see if you can get 10 catches. Off we go. Ooh, I bet that was too easy for year three. 
So what do you think we could do to challenge ourselves? Maybe now, have a think for yourself and introduce a different little rule. So Mr. Cabiners is going to be, I'm going to clap twice and catch. Can you add something in and try and be as creative as you can? So pause the video and think, what can you do? Excellent work. Well done. Hope you try something different. This time, I'm going to try and just keep it up. I'm just going to try and use both hands to try and keep my piece of equipment up in the air. So look, I'm using my piece of paper now. What can I do? Oops! What can I do with my feet if I can't get my piece of equipment? Have a think. But you may need to try and move your feet around to try and keep control of your piece of equipment. Have a go and have a practice. Off you go. Well done. Now we're coming to the end of the lesson. So what I'm going to do is set you a little challenge. I want to see how many catches you can do in one minute. I would like you to post it on Dojo with some pictures, with some videos of you taking part in the lesson and then I can see and give you some little feedback. So well done today, I hope you've enjoyed our home learning and I will see you all very soon. Well done.